Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston and in this tutorial we're going to be continue, continuing working on the game. Now you can see here that we've created our dragon, our villain, our zombie, and our enemy class. So let's go ahead, we'll come up here to file and we will add a new project. So let's go ahead and save this. Um, let's save the project as game. Go ahead and save that. Okay, so now it opens up our add new project dialog. So what we want to do is create a Windows Forms application and we'll call it the game uh, GUI for graphical user interface. If you didn't already know that. So we'll just wait for that to load. You can see here in our solution we've got our game uh, library and our game GUI. So one thing that I wanted to change from the last tutorials is our array list. So instead not our array list, our arrays. So instead of making them private, let's create them public and read only. So that the user can access them, but they can't change anything about them. So we'll just go through here. Public read only. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's go ahead and create a little rough draft for our game. So we'll come over here to our toolbox and let's add some picture boxes. So this picture box is going to hold your character or Popeye. Let's go ahead and size the image so we'll stretch the image to fit in there. Now we'll make another one and we'll just put it over here. So we'll set the name of this one to picture uh, Popeye and then this one to picture enemy. So now let's go ahead and we'll add a button. So the button will say or we'll set the name to button attack and it's going to say attack on it. Now we won't be able to do anything with the villains because they're going to attack on their own and we're going to be creating a timer that will pause their attacks for a second or two in between the time that we attack so that it does not automatically attack as soon as you're done as soon as your character is done attacking so now that we've got that, let's go ahead and add some progress bars so that we can monitor the health of our of Popeye and our enemy. So we'll just bring this down some. I will press Control C to copy it, and we'll make another one. So we'll set this one to progress bar Popeye. Or, and then we'll set this one to progress bar enemy okay so this is just a rough outline of what our uh, program is going to look like so let's go over here to the picture properties of the Popeye and we'll go ahead and set the picture so we'll go ahead and import a local resource We'll go to desktop, and here we have Popeye. Go ahead and open that, and click OK. So here's Popeye right here. Let's go ahead and make him a little bit skinnier there. Okay, so this is always going to be the same. Now let's add a button, and it'll say Spawn Enemy. So we'll set the name to Button Spawn and then we will set the text to spawn enemy now we will be making several changes to this throughout the program and the reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to show you what it's like to develop your own programs that you make changes throughout it 
and that you're not going to just come up with your best ideas at first. So whenever we spawn the enemy, what it's going to do is going to generate a random number and then pick from a series of pictures to put in here. So what we need to do is come over here to Game GOI, and we'll go ahead and open up the properties of it. And we can come over here to Resources, and we can add some resources. So let's add an image. So we will add, let's say, a JPEG. Oh, no, wait. Let's add an existing file. Sorry about that. So we'll come over here to the 